Hi everyone, someone recently asked me on the Soundflow user forum how to use TZO's plugin loader. So let me uh, walk you through how to get it installed, how to make a preset, maybe how to add that preset to a deck, and we'll see what else. Uh, so if we head over to Soundflow, and in the header of the Soundflow app, we're going to click the store button. And then we're in the search field here, we'll type in TZO, and that's going to filter the packages, and uh, you'll see TZO's plugin loader there. Uh, so we're going to click install. Then once that's installed, click go to package. So you'll notice now that in the Soundflow editor window, under the, um, the installed packages, we now have TZO's plugin loader. So inside the, uh, the plugin loader, we have uh, a couple of things. We've got a deck, which is a pre-made deck, where I've created a, uh, a series of uh, presets that are pre-made and set up in, uh, for a Stream Deck XL. Uh, you can also use it on your iPad or on your actual computer screen. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a preset. So if we look in the Tizio's plugin loader uh, command template here, we've uh, we've got two folders. We've got a factory presets folder, and that's uh, where we store all of the the presets that actually come with the plugin loader when you download it from the store. So I've split it up into uh, the category or the the brand names of the of the plugins. Uh, so we've got some. Antares, FabFilter, Isotope, and a bunch of other different companies uh, in there. So then we've got a My Presets folder, which is where you'll store the presets that you make yourself. So to create a preset, we can uh, select either of, uh, of these, uh, these folders here. And then we click the plus button, and then click Preset. And so what I want to do is I want to make a preset to open up the EQ3 one band, the one band EQ in Pro Tools. So uh, you'll notice here, after naming the preset, where uh, we're met with a command template where we need to fill out some uh, uh, some different properties. So we need to find out the plugin name and the plugin category. So to do that, if we head over to Pro Tools. We click on the, the, uh, the an open insert here, and then if we go to EQ, which will be the category, and then uh, we go to EQ3, one band. Don't worry about the mono uh, in brackets here. Uh, the, the plugin loader will take care of that for you. So we're just going to remember EQ3, the EQ all in capitals, one dash, and then capital B, band. Uh, so if we head back here, so we'll put in, put in the, uh, the plugin category first, which is EQ, then EQ3, and then uh, one dash B-A-N-D, like that. So we've got to make sure that we, we get all the capital letters uh, and the, the different characters and the spacing all right. So you'll notice next we have the plugin slot. We can either choose uh, slots 1 to 10, uh, if you want to individually insert it, uh, the plugin into a specific slot, or that you can use the first free slot, or you can use after the last used slot. Uh, so I'm going to use this last one here because I want it to be at the end of my plugin chain. If I had a preset that I wanted to use uh, from the plugin, I could enter the preset name right here, but I'm just going to leave that blank for now. Uh, for the plugin type, we have two options we have multi mono or the same as, the, as track. So uh, I'm going to leave this as the, uh, to be the same as the track. And then for the plugin width, I'm going to leave that same as track. Uh, but we also have the option to make it mono to stereo. And for the HDX users, people who have, have hardware for Pro Tools uh, for HDX, they can either use HDX native or HDX DSP option here. I'm just running a standard version of Pro Tools Ultimate, uh, which uh, for anything that's not HDX, just use the non-HDX button here. So now that's all set up. If I wanted to add this uh, to a deck, uh, I'd want it to look nice. So uh, let's add an icon to this. So what I've done is I've created uh, in Sketch, uh, 
a program you can download from the web. Uh, uh, I've, I've created an icon here. If I just show you this, it's just a nice little icon that has a picture behind it. All I have to do is select this in the finder, press uh, uh, Command-C to copy, then come over here, click to add the icon here, set the icon like that, and then we've got the icon. So now, uh, if we head to our Pro Tools package, or whatever package you want to store uh, the deck in, we can create a new deck. So we go uh, click the New button here, select Deck. I'm just going to call this Plugin Deck. And we can set the size of this. If we had a Stream Deck XL, uh, we could use the 8x4, or you could create a custom size one up to uh, 30 by 30 buttons. So 30 by 30 rows by 30 columns. Uh, so for the moment, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show this on my iPad Air. So for devices, I'm going to select uh, Kitsch's iPad Air here. And then I'm going to click the Show button, and that will show it on my iPad. Right now it's blank, so let's add a preset. So if I select this first button here, this is where I want to put my EQ3 plugin. All we have to do is go down to, to here and, and see the Add Existing Command. Click this button, type in EQ3. And as you can see, the preset we created is right here. So we'll select that and it loads this up into the window here, into the uh, the deck here. So now if we head on over to Pro Tools, uh, actually, let me just refresh, show this deck again. Uh, if we head over to Pro Tools, now if I click the EQ3 button on the iPad, whatever track is selected, it will enter it into the, the first of, um, the, fir the last free slot. So if I click it again, it'll add another one. So no more menu diving for plugins. You can open things really quickly with Soundflow. Uh, so say you wanted to use the the preset uh, deck that I'd already created, uh, the pre-made deck that I already created. It, it's easy to do, do that. S simply select the deck here, click the Make Editable Copy, and then uh, for selected package, we want to select the package where we want it to be stored. For me, I'm going to put this in my Pro Tools package, which is right here, and then press OK. So now in this package, we now have that deck there. So if we set this up to show it on my iPad, show this on the iPad, and if we head over to Pro Tools, we can then add, Pro Tool, uh, add plugins really quickly, just like this. Super quick. And... So if we wanted to add a plugin to this deck, all we'd have to do is click whatever uh, button that we want to change uh, the plugin of, and then we'd click the uh, this button down here to change the command, and then we'd type in EQ3. We'd select the preset that we want, which I'm just using the preset that we created earlier. And now if we re refresh the deck here. Uh, as you can see, it shows the uh, the EQ uh, plugin uh, in the bottom right hand corner. So now if we head on over to Pro Tools again, we can hit that button and there we go. The EQ3 loads nice and easy. I hope that helps. If you've got any questions about TZO's plugin loader, you can get to the, the section of the forum that's uh, for the package by clicking on the installed package and clicking package forum and that will take you to the forum page here and you can ask a question. If you have any other questions or want any other videos from me, let me know. I'd be happy to help out. Rock and roll and I'll see you next time.